Well, in, in considering the, the soil forming factors, uh, the five or some best sometimes described as seven soil forming factors that influence the soil, uh, I think we can go through and, and see how all those factors have had a role in, in the formation of the soil. Uh, well, first one we could talk about is time, and we know this is a this is a, a, a geological surface. It's about ten or fifteen thousand years old, maybe uh, somewhere in that range. So we know that the time for soil formation is has been approximately that. In terms of the, of the of the climate, this is a semi-arid area, so it's an area where the soils usually aren't filled with water. So we don't have a strong downward uh, downward movement of, of, so of water through the soil to leach the soil, although certainly there is some leaching near the, in translocation near the top of the soil. The uh, other factor of vegetation, well, this is a grassland, uh, and we'll find out later there is an AH horizon on this soil. It's not a chernozemic soil because of the fact that it has the Solonetsk B, but it does have an AH horizon. Uh, that's an, an, another one of the, of the factors. Uh, and in terms of topography, well, we're uh, locally, we're here just on a gentle slope, uh, sort of, let's say, sort of uh, pretty typical conditions, or pretty average conditions for this sort of landscape. But thinking about topography and, and perhaps hydrogeology at a larger scale, the Missouri Coteau is off to the southwest, about uh, 20 or 30 kilometers, and it's quite a bit higher, perhaps 100, me 100 meters uh, higher than here. And I think off to the uh, to, to the uh, to the uh, south uh, to the northeast is also an upland. So this tends to be regionally a bit of a lowland, which is influenced by by the groundwater. Uh, the groundwater tends to move back towards the surface here, and of course, in moving back towards the surface, it carries with it whatever has been dissolved along its its flow path through through the through the geological formations, and that often is one of the reasons we have solanetic soils. It's sodium moving into the soil uh, in in the groundwater that basically contributes to the uh, the formation of the solanetic soil. In fact, it's probably we I often look at it that solanetic soils occur in areas where you have a fairly strong uh, movement of, of sodium into the into the you might say into the pedosphere or into the into the profile from below and that's counteracted by in this case you know reasonably uh, strong leaching near the surface and so you have the interaction of two fairly strong forces that uh, that are fluxes that result in the in the kind of soil that we'll be talking about in in the next part of our our discussion